Today I'll show you how to crochet this top. You can use it as a regular top or you can use it as a swimsuit cover-up. It's very versatile. You'll also be making this little strap. I placed it on the bottom right now, but you can also place it just underneath the boobs. So you can pull it in up here and let it hang down uh, underneath. That's really up to you. This is a very easy top to do. I will show you from the start to the very end just how to do this and this one will be in a size medium you can find the written pattern uh, the link for the written pattern below in the description where there also will be other sizes available but now i will show you how to do this one first i want to talk a little about the materials i've used for the yarn i've used this 100 percent cotton yarn it's a sport weight too so it's a pretty thin yarn and the color is forest green. I will write in the description how much yarn you will need for this inner size medium. Then I've used a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and some scissors. And finally, a tap to needle to weave in the ends and sewing it up. We begin with the bottom part of the top. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop. Grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we create a chain, so yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through. You will do 100 chains in total. So you just keep yarning over and pulling through until you have 100 chains. When you have 100 chains, you will begin working into these chains. So you will count the third chain from your hook, one, two, three, so this one, and you will do a double crochet into this chain. So yarn over, then insert the hook in the third chain from your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two. That's your first double crochet. Now you find your next chain on the bottom down here, and you double crochet into this one, so yarn over, insert the hook in the next chain, and double crochet, so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then you keep crocheting like this, find your next chain on the bottom, this one, double crochet into this chain, and Continue with one double crochet in every chain all the way across. You did 100 chains and you skipped two, so you should have 98 double crochet when you're done with this row. And then we have the first row. Now we want to begin the second row. So first we chain four. One, two, three. Four, then we turn the work and now the first three chains count, counts as the first stitch and this one belongs to this stitch down here so we want to move to the next stitch this one over here so you have your first stitch this is this one this is the stitch belonging to this stitch then we want to skip this stitch and move on to this stitch so we have the first triple crochet, then we skip this one and move to this one. So for a triple crochet, we yarn over twice. So yarn over twice, then insert the hook in this third stitch, then yarn over and pull through. We have four loops on the hook, then yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through, two. Yarn over, pull through, two. So now we have this stitch, then we have a gap, and then we have a triple crochet. Then we want to work another gap, so we chain one. And skip the next one. So move on to the next stitch, and triple crochet. So yarn over twice, insert the hook, 
yarn over, pull through, then we have four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two, yarn over, pull through, two. So, we have these stitches and gaps in between. Now we just continue like this all the way across. So we will again chain one, then we skip one, move on to the second stitch from the next to this one and triple crochet. So yarn over twice and triple crochet in the next one. Then chain one and triple crochet in the next. So chain one, skip one, triple crochet. Chain one, skip one, triple crochet. All the way across. And that's row two. Now we want to begin row three. So you chain three. One, two, three. Then we turn the work. And then this one is our first stitch, so we want to begin the next stitch in this gap. And we want to work a double crochet in this gap. So you yarn over, then you insert the hook into the gap, directly into the gap. And then grab the yarn and pull through. Then yarn over, pull through, two. Yarn over, pull through, two. So the next double crochet will be in this triple crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook on top of this triple crochet and double crochet. And we want to work a double crochet in every stitch all the way across. We just did a double crochet into this triple crochet so now we want to work a double crochet into the gap. So yarn over, insert the hook directly into the gap, and double crochet. Then you work a double crochet <coughs> sorry, in this stitch. So yarn over, insert the hook, and double crochet. So continue like this all the way across until you have one double crochet in every stitch. So where you meet the gaps, you work double crochet into the gaps. And with these stitches, you work double crochet in the stitch on top of the stitch. One double crochet in every stitch all the way across. And that's row three. So now we want to repeat row two. So this row down here. So we chain four, one, two, three, four, and we turn, and then we skip the next stitch, move on to the third stitch over here, this one, and then we triple crochet. So yarn over twice, insert the hook, in the stitch and triple crochet. Then we chain one, skip one, and triple crochet. Yarn over twice, insert the hook, and triple crochet in the next stitch. And you know how to continue, it's the same as row two. Then we want to repeat row two and row three again and again until our top is long enough. So row two, then you repeat row three and then row two again. Just repeat row two and row three. I continued until I have 35 rows in total and this measures 40 centimeters for me. 
We now want to continue on the 36th row and this is our front panel of the of the top and we now want to continue down the back. First we want to make room for the neck. Just zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. We want to um, repeat a row like this with the double crochet so without the gaps. So we chain three to begin with. And then we work 26 double crochet. So you just yarn over and then you double crochet 26 times. So just one double crochet in every stitch. Whoops, you know what I'm doing. Just 26 double crochet and then stop. And when we have the 26 double crochet, we will now chain 46. So just yarn over, pull through 46 times. And then you skip 46 stitches. And then you continue on this 47th stitch. I just marked it with a stitch marker. So this is my 46th stitch and I want to continue in this one. So I yarn over and continue with a double crochet in the next stitch after the 46th stitch. And then just continue all the way across with one double crochet in every stitch until you finish this row. So now you made room for the neck and we will now just continue down the back. So you just had a row with a double crochet. So the next row you chain four and then you begin a row with these gaps. And then you just continue repeating the same steps as you did on the front panel, just down the back. So just repeat the same thing as on the front side with 45, sorry, 35 rows down the back. So after a couple of hours of work, we have this big rectangular piece with room for the neck right here in the middle and the shoulders right here. You will now fold it on the middle. So you have this square piece instead with room for the neck up here. You can see the gap. You can remove this stitch marker as well. And then the arms are supposed to come out right here. And we will now make a seam all the way up here and stop right where the armpit is. So we finished the work down here with the final stitches. So you can cut the yarn and begin sewing it up. You can also just crochet all the way up. Just do a row of a single crochet or whatever you like to join the edges, but I'm doing it with my tapshoe needle. So just pull this yarn through the loop and find your tapestry needle. I will zoom in in a minute. This. Make sure you are able to see what I'm doing. So now make sure the edges are even so you have the gaps on top of the gaps and the solid part on top of the solid part all the way up. Make sure you keep joining them the same like this. I am just doing the whip stitch all the way up. So just push the needle through both layers. I'm doing it a few times extra in the beginning where the pressure is. And then sew all the way up like this. So just from one side to the other. And again, from this side. So the whip stitch just like a whip. And make 
sure you got the gaps. Let's top up the gaps. Again. All the way up. And of course, leave room for the arms. And this is what it looks like when you're done. I did my arm opening f uh, about 20 centimeters wide. And we have the neck up here. And then down here, we have the opening for the body. Now, all that's left to do is to do an eye cord. I want to attach an eye cord in the bottom, uh, in these bottom gaps, just to pull this top together on the stomach. I, I think it. It gives a great look. You can definitely do it without if you just want to have it wide on the stomach. But if you want to do an eye cord just like me, I want to show you how. And you will need, for every 10 centimeters cord, you will need one meter width of yarn. And I will do one meter cord. My cord will measure one meter. So I will times that by 10 and you will need 10 meters of yarn. I am doing it a bit thick. I want a thicker cord, so I'm also putting it double. That also means you will need double the amount of yarn, so 20 meters. So put it double, then find the middle of the yarn. We always start in the middle with this eye cord. And then I am using a 4 millimeter hook for this when I'm doubling out. So I begin with a slip knot. And then we have these, these two working yarns. And we take the bottom one over the needle, over the hook, sorry. And then from the other side over the hook. And then pull through both. Then we have the bottom this way over and the other one this way over and then we pull them through. Then this one over and from the other side over and pull through. Again this one over this way, the other one from the other side and pull through both. And then you just keep doing like this. When you got it in the fingers, it's actually quite easy. So this way, this way, and pull through. This way, this way, and pull through. So we get this really nice cord. You just keep doing this until you have a long enough cord. As I said, I want my cord to be one meter long. When you're all done, you can weave in the ends uh, in the end right here, or you can just tie a knot like this and then pull it real tight. Really, really tight and then cut it. find a scissor sharp and then fluff out these ends so it looks good. Then you can find your uh, shirt, your top, and then find your center if you want it uh, right uh, underneath the boobs or if you want it uh, on the bottom. If you want it on the bottom you find the center and then you make sure that you will just, that this will come out like this. So you have this one on the front, and then take the other one. And then you can just use these gaps and push it in between, just like this. So we just go in and out, in and out, in and out, all the way around. So finally this one will come out 
over here and then you can pull it together. So it comes together like this and it crops on the bottom. Yeah, that's it. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.